send it to my colleague, Matt Houston. He is in McKinney at Medical City, City McKinney with an update on the victims, including those that lost their lives. Matt. Yeah, doctors here are treating at least seven victims, perhaps even an eighth. A uh, hospital spokesperson tells us their ages range from just five years old to 61. Truly a, a heartbreaking number there. The state designates certain hospitals based on their ability to care for the most serious injuries. A level one trauma center has the most resources for that kind of treatment. McKinney Medical City is a level two trauma center, so plenty of resources to take care of those folks. We don't know how much, we don't know much about these victims, rather beyond their age ranges, only that they were at the Allen Premium Outlets yesterday with hundreds of other people. Police went store to store, clearing shoppers to go outside. Eventually, many walked out of the mall with hands above their heads, some described hearing the gunshots, others only experienced the chaos to follow. People just start running in the store. Um, the manager did a real good job. He locked the, locked the doors, locked the, locked the store. And I went to the back of the building, back of the store, and all you just heard was gunshots for like five minutes. It's messed up. Uh, my mom's pretty torn up. I know I'm going to have some thinking to do after this. Now, State Representative Jeff Leach will host a vigil for victims tonight at Cottonwood Creek Baptist Church. That happens at 5 p.m. It is open to the public, just a few miles from where we are right now in McKinney. We're going to have another update for you on these victims here in the next half hour or so. For now, I'm Matt Houston. Mark, back to you.